There are many myths, legends, and misconceptions surrounding the understanding of the angelic realm and what an angelic messenger really is. Who are these beings and what is their purpose? Why do they exist? Are they real? And why do we need them in our lives? Quote, an angelic is a being of high frequency energy that assists God and humans to reach their potential in life. They are neither human nor God, but an intermediary for God's love. Unquote. Archangel Nathaniel. Some believe they are to be controlled and to do our bidding, but this is not their purpose. However, our understanding is on a much deeper level as we connect to our angelic brothers and sisters on a daily basis. And we do have a unique and personal understanding and relationship of their purpose. In the infinity of life where each and every one of us are in this moment resides God's messengers. These messengers are the arms of God's love. The angels of love and guidance are not human but have the awareness of being human and many other forms. They are the light and help each and every one of us on our unique path to enlightenment. The purpose of enlightenment is to understand the self. It is important to understand that angelics do not control us. And I'll repeat that, angelics do not control us. We are not governed by them or by any other being. They are free will beings as well and choose to assist us because that is their choice. We are here completely sovereign and free to make all our own choices. Their goal is to assist in developing your gifts and talents. They help open you up to the possibilities and lovingly guide you through each step of the life cycle. They enjoy their work because you will progress on your own unique paths and they are very proud of you. They love you deeply. It's so important to know they do not control you and helping others is all they do. Because you are not aware of their presence does not mean they don't exist. It simply means you are unaware of their presence and purpose in your life. In order to have a connection to them, you must lovingly ask for their help and be open to new ideas and concepts. A closed mind limits your ability to accept them. We enter into agreement before birth, a guardian angel, and this angel will be with us through our current incarnation. And some have been with us since our creation. How do you know you have an angel? When angels are near, some say you may notice a cool breeze or a dip in temperature in the room or feel a warm, loving presence close by. Some have experienced ringing in the ears or tingling on the crown of their head, which they believe are signs that angels are trying to communicate. Join us live Friday night for another fascinating discussion on these topics and more. Thanks for watching.